Zach Murray, we know him from the state team, uh, the victorious Victorian state team. But tonight he's on to represent Commonwealth, who this year, never been done before, they have won. The seniors in Divi 1, the girls in Divi 1, and the Colts in Divi 1, and the young man from the Murray joins us. Good day, Zach. What's going on, fellas? <laughs> you tell me, Zach. Have you just taken a bit of a break from a pub somewhere where you're working? Yeah, I work back at the SSNA club in uh, in Albury, so just on me break, chowing down my food and talking to you lads now. Rightio. Tell us about the feeling about uh, Commonwealth Golf Club. Never been done before. Every team won the Divi 1. What was it like back at the club afterwards? Oh, it was a fantastic atmosphere. Like, all the members, um, you know, were pretty stoked for the for the result. Um, you know, I've heard from Peter Parks, our, our manager at the club this week, that all the members have been on a bit of a high with all the flags going up in the clubhouse. So, fantastic result from, for the club. I mean, it's, yeah, as you said, it's never been done before. So, it was, um, you know, pretty special, I'd say. Yeah. You played Daniel Popovic. Uh, Craig Spence here, by the way, Zach. You played uh, Popovic in the in your match too, Zach. What was that like? Yeah, it was, it was really good. I I know Popper pretty well. I've um, had a little bit to do with him um, last year up at the Australian Open, and I've played with him a couple of times before this. So um, he's a he's a ripper bloke, and um, yeah, it was a it was a good day out. Um, played pretty well, and um, was able to get get the point for the team. So. Um, yeah, it was, it was nice. How many birdies did you make on the way to victory, Zach, yourself? Uh, I had five, I think, but I had four in the first six holes, so she was uh, a good start. start. Yeah, yeah, reasonable start. Zach, what are your thoughts on the addition of professionals into the penance mix? Do you like it? Uh, I don't mind it, yeah. I, I mean, we had uh, Fraser Droop from up Yarrawonga. He's a trainer. He played on our side this year. Yeah. Um, Commonwealth were always sort of, um, you know, a bit uh, up in the air with the the pro situation, but Fraser's played in our pennant side for the last, you know, four or five years, so it was good to have him still play in the team, and he won seven and six on the weekend, so it's a pretty good asset to have. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't mind it. Like, it's, I mean, if they're, it's good when they play one and two. It's a good challenge for us sort of high amateurs that play in the Division One pennant, and, um, you know, it uh, brings a few more people to pennant, which is good. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I, I think it's uh, it's good. Hey, Zach, your last six months been pretty pretty good, I reckon. Uh, made the cut at the Australian Open. Uh, you've won the Victorian State Series in the men's senior team, and, and now you've done this. Am I missing something? What else have you been doing around the place? Because I reckon um, I'm waiting for you to turn pro at some stage. <laughs> what have I missed? Uh, I come. I lost in the playoff at the Master of the Amateurs to start the year, and then um, I won the SA Classic a couple of months ago at Royal Adelaide. Very right. nice. So it's everything's pointing towards turning professional in, in this day and age. I mean, once when I did a million years ago, there, there was one tour school the way you went, but there's a lot of different options these days for people like you, and it's a different setup. So what's the thinking these days? You know, in 2017, you're a young gun. What are you playing off? Probably about plus four or five or something crazy. Well, I was shocked. I got shocked on at, on Saturday at Commonwealth. I got my card and I was off plus six. So, right, yeah. so you're playing off plus six, wow. which is pretty much where you need to be, folks. I mean, if you're a kid out there at the moment and you're off plus two or three, believe me, you can't play. You need to be <laughs> off plus six or plus seven to even to even think about turning pro. And that's a that's a that is an absolute fact, Craig. Okay, an absolute red hot fact. You want to be off plus six to start thinking about it like Zach Murray is. Straight yeah. down the barrel there, Marco. Well, <laughs> look, sometimes the kids need it, Zach, to tell you the truth. Sometimes mm. they need it. They're, they're, and Zach, I don't want to get off track, yeah. but the reason I say that is because I've seen so many kids turn professional mm. when they're off two, plus two, or plus three, and now they are 45 years old and life's gone past them, mm -hmm. and they are struggling, and, and it hurts me to see that. And yeah. I'm really lucky things have worked out a little bit for me, but... There are so many other players who are better than me who are stuffed now, and it's probably because they turn pro here in Australia where it's easy. Mm. You've got a pro-am circuit to play in, but I tell you what, once you get above the southern, you know, the equator and you start playing golf in the southern hemisphere, you want to be reasonably accomplished coming from this country. Otherwise, you will get s just s s chewed up and spat out. So what, what, what are your options, Zach? What do you do? I mean, someone like you, you're set to go. What's the first step, do you think? Um, well, I think my first step is, is I go to Europe on Monday and I've got 
um, three, you know, very good amateur events over there, and then I go to the states and I've got another three or four over there as well. So at the moment, I just want to try and play as well in those as I can, um, to sort of get my amateur world ranking up a little bit to sort of help me out get um, get starts and stuff when I do turn pro. That's sort of that's my thinking at the moment. But um, other than that, I'm you know just just putting the head down and, and trying to play well everywhere I go. Um, and as you said, like, that's what you've got to do when, when you turn pro. You've got to play well everywhere. Um, so I'm just sort of making sure that I do that as an amateur so I'm comfortable when I do go overseas um, and have, you know, my first couple of starts might be in Europe or might be in America as a pro. You just never know. So um, I'm just trying to build up that experience before I do turn pro, you know, probably in the next sort of 12 to 18 months, I imagine. It's interesting, um, Zach, and this is a good topic, Marco, yeah. because um, when you hear when you hear Marco talk like that, it can be even for me. I've been there and done it, and I'm on the other side of it now. Yeah. But it, it's a frightening topic for a lot of younger. On the on the flip side, you can talk about a Nick O'Hearn or an Ian Poulter who yeah. came from way back, yeah. way back. Nick O'Hearn was playing off four when he turned exact, trainee. Exactly right, and and a Dave McKenzie style, right? Yeah. He's just made a living, but. It's the the trick, Zach. I think, if you want my two cents, is to get better every year. Mm-hmm. Just not stop getting better, which is yeah. easier said than done, obviously. So, do you mm-hmm. feel comfortable about, you know, you know what it takes to get better every year? Yeah, I do, and um, I've been spending a lot of time with with Acker up at home, and he's always telling me that you know you, you got to get better every year, and you got to tweak a few things, and um, you don't want to be stagnant. You want to, you know keep climbing the mountain and um, you never w- really want it to plateau too much. You always want to get better. And even DJ said the other day, world number one, he was, everyone wants to get better, but yep. you got to know how to do it. And, yep. um, you know, I'm pretty lucky that I've got, you know, half a dozen people around me um, that have a pretty big influence on my goal that are you know, helping me, help me march up that mountain. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting there and I'm definitely improved. I've definitely improved um, a fair bit over the last sort of, six or seven months, so um, everything's everything's going pretty well. well. Zach, we've been watching from afar, mate, and everything looks fantastic to us. I mean, there doesn't seem too many hiccups with the way you're playing the game. You know, for what it's worth, I think once you start feeling comfortable wherever you are, that'll give you the best chance. But uh, good luck, Good on Zach. radio, too. Yeah, he's very good on radio. Bloke. You might be doing chasing birdies if things don't work <laughs> yes, out, Zach. you might. Who knows what might happen. <laughs> hey, hey, Zach. Congratulations on the win in Commonwealth and the state team victory and what you did in Adelaide and making the cut in the Australian Open. But more importantly, uh, just do uh, what's coming up ahead. Good luck. Look after yourself. And uh, we wish you all the best. Good luck, Doc. Thanks very much, Marco. Cheers, Spence. Good on you.